I had a dream of building a portable DJ system from the beach. The new phenomenon is that everybody's a DJ. Going to Berlin to present uh, a project that I've been working on with Philips for a long time now. Uh, it's something of a, a DJ controller, DJ mixer and a sound system combined. Uh, especially aimed at uh, people who want to DJ at home or on the beach uh, or young people who want to get into DJing and uh, learn a little bit about it. I started DJing with vinyl, not with CDs or MP3s because they didn't exist when I started. Uh, but for me it was a really good way to start, uh, to learn how to mix. Because then you uh, could learn the basics of, for example, counting the number of bars before another theme starts, uh, queuing up your records, all these elements. Uh, I've tried to uh, incorporate in the product I designed with Philips. And a lot of people ask me, um, Armin, what, what equipment should I use? Where should I start if I want to become a DJ like yourself? And uh, normally I tell them, well, you have to buy this and this equipment. Uh, but there's also an easier way, I thought. Why not have a sort of a starting package where you can learn the basics of DJing and really see if it's something for you? I'm really excited to show it to uh, a number of uh, people from the press, a number of uh, retailers and a lot of uh, dance music enthusiasts that are going to be in Berlin, especially for this convention. One of the things that I really like about traveling is getting to meet so many great people and visit so many great locations. But I gotta be honest with you, um, I played really good gigs in some cities and in the same city and a different venue was sometimes a bad gig. So for me, it's not so much about the city per se, it's more about the audience that's there, about the, uh, the venue itself. I guess it goes for every city and every destination that you go. I think there's so much fun stuff to do in almost every city you come. Um, you just have to know the right people. A little while ago I made a joke about playing a good set in the Netherlands, a good set in the UK and a good set in America. In the Netherlands they say, hey, goed gedaan man, top. And in the UK they say, that was really wicked set mate, it was amazing. <laughs> and in America they say, um, uh, oh my god, that's the best set I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Hello. Hey, good morning. Yeah, come on. Okay, then. Hello. Hello. Room number. Hey. So this is exciting. Yeah. yeah no, great that you're uh, you're here. So I thought to start off with, what we could do is just run through the plan for the press conference. I'm sort of over that scare for talking to a big crowd. The only time when I was really scared for talking to a big crowd was at my wedding, because <laughs> <laughs> I knew everybody. <laughs> Running a bit tight on time because we need to get you back off the stage before people start. Okay, let's do so it. Maybe we go now. Yeah, in a little longer. Yeah, like half an hour. Okay. So yeah. Daniel, okay. I work with you. Daniel yeah, fine. Too. Ladies and gentlemen. Let me introduce to you on stage Armin van Buren. Hi, Armin. How are you? Hi. So, Armin, uh, good to see you. Uh, good that you come here. I heard you were flying in from Ibiza this morning. Yeah, it's a bit very busy season in Ibiza. Every Monday, privilege. And now here to present uh, something very special here. Yeah. When we first had the, the meetings about this some time ago, I really found the passion for sound 
uh, with Philips, and I have the same thing, you know, audio has to be perfect, you know. I have, yeah. In my studio, I spend a lot of time on every little detail and sound, and same goes for Philips. For me, it's really exciting, and uh, yeah, it's been an intense year, let's yeah. put it that way. A lot of demands when I started because if my name is attached to it you know it's kind of sensible because the moms in the supermarket will come to me in a few years and say hey remember that day that you uh, that you said that I had to buy this it was nothing it didn't it didn't work you know I, I can't use that for my reputation so I want to have a product that is that is that is very special to me and that works I actually played with the product and then we went on we went back to the drawing table so it looked completely different uh, the first design and I'm really proud that um, that Philips was able to put in everything that I wanted because as you can see uh, there's a, quite a, a lot of functions but it's pretty pretty clear uh, what you can do with it I think yeah, and start playing and this is the, this is the volume and the, this is the next to it is the the foghorn this may be the hero yeah, he's like a good speaker. <laughs> yeah, he, he was um, informed about it. Uh, he, and you, you can see that he was really into the topic. And uh, I'm pretty much convinced that it's a good startup for young DJs uh, to develop uh, styles and to develop the technique. And um, yeah, I, I love it. And I'm, I'm like smashed because of the sound. I didn't expect such an intense sound. It's awesome, I really love it. And the price is, is affordable. <laughs> well, I'm the type of DJ that likes to interact with the crowd and uh, I like to find a balance between what I like to play and what the crowd wants to hear, you know. I don't want to be that predictable that I play all the requests that I get from the crowd. But also what matters, for example, if it's, it's too warm in the room, if it's too cold, if the speakers are okay, if the people in the room are okay. It's a very delicate balance. I don't play here so much as I would like to, because my schedule is pretty much filled up, but um, this week we're gonna make up for it. I'm gonna do my radio show live from Germany's capital today. Everybody needs to know somebody who cares, just a friendly face. You can trust to be there. Aren't you afraid to be known and not be a stranger? I'm Arne Van Buren, welcome to a new episode of State of Trance. The episode is packed with much exciting news. Today we're celebrating, we're broadcasting to you live from the capital of Germany, Berlin. We're here at the IFA. I do get nervous for radio because it's a lot more, you have to focus on talking about what you say, about the jingles, and I do everything myself live. Fortunately, I have Ruben, and I'm a little bit tired because it's been a very long day. But um, I, will, I will be okay. To, to Armin's music since 10-12 uh, years yeah, yeah. and uh, just love the vibe and, and the happiness and the power. We love him, he's great, he's awesome. We saw him earlier today already. He don't work like a superstar, you think okay, he has some things in his head, uh, I want this, I want this, don't touch me. No, he's absolutely natural, human, he talking about his kids, his wife, about life, vacation and of course the music.
Armin. Armin is huge. He's the best DJ ever. You're awesome. You're amazing. <laughs> You have to ha develop a feeling for it. You have to develop a feeling for uh, the timing of being a DJ. Because um, DJing, the, the craft of DJing is always about timing. 